And welcome back to the Rockville campus of Montgomery College. Michael Brown alongside my partner, Andre Anderson. And we are all set for our second match uh, of the day for the Raptors tri-match. And in this one, we've got the Catamounts coming right back, the Potomac State Catamounts coming right back after a 30-minute break to take on the Carroll Community College Lynx. And, of course, this will be their first match of the day. Yeah, so one team is more fresh than the other. Uh, but what, but the thing is, with the one team already playing, they're kind of in a rhythm. So there's a chance for them to kind of keep that rhythm going into the match. Uh, this should be interesting. Well, they're obviously loose. Yeah. Uh, they they have warmed up. Mm -hmm. um, although they did lose a tough first match to the Raptors, uh, Montgomery College took the first match of the day. 3-1 to one over Potomac State. Potomac State took the first set, but then the Raptors stormed back to take the next three and the match. So these are two excellent teams. Potomac State with that loss in the first match of the day drops to 8-3 and three on the season. Carroll comes in with a record of 4-2. and two. Carroll is a fairly new uh, entrant to uh, Maryland Juco sports. Um, but they are a part of Maryland Juco now. Uh, Montgomery College just started playing them within the last year or two, I want to say. And um, But currently they are 3-0. and They're undefeated in Maryland Juco. So um, they've won two matches in a row. Uh, I think the, the, the difference is that they have only played six matches so far this year. Versus uh, Potomac State, they've played 11. The Raptors have played 11. Um, so a little more experience uh, for uh, Potomac State. So looking forward to a good match. And again, uh, 30 minutes after this match, mm -hmm. uh, the Raptors will see the Raptors in action again. They will take on um, Carroll and uh, the final uh, match of the tri-match. So... Fun day, fun full day of volleyball. Great day of volleyball, and uh, we're looking forward to another competitive match. Uh, you know, looking at the two teams as they are being introduced, um, have to give the height advantage to Carroll. Yeah. Couple of ladies seem like they're over about about six foot or so, or more. I would say. Um, uh, Maria Acheron, number 10, she looks to me to be 6'1", 6'2", perhaps. And right next to her, of course, we're looking at Potomac State right now. And uh, as we know from the first match between the uh, Raptors and Potomac State, size is important, but it doesn't really, it doesn't tell the whole story. Mm -hmm. Because the best hitter on Potomac State is um, Fennell, Amona Fennell, and she's definitely not the tallest person on the team. No, so. but she can definitely jump, you know, really high, get above the net, so. So we are ready to go. Our second match of the day. Potomac State in the dark blue and uh, Carroll in the slightly lighter blue. His colors are a little uh, close, but <clears throat> there's an, enough of, of a difference. And of course, you'll see that one player uh, has a different color uniform. And uh, that is the libero. And the libero is a defensive specialist. They are not allowed to attack. In other words, they're not allowed to uh, be part of the offensive attack. Their, their primary uh, role is generally digging off the back line uh, and, and setting. So, Amani Fennell with the first serve of the day. And 
Good first point. Carroll gets the first point of the game. Head coach for Carroll is Terry Leatherwood. Um, she, uh, uh, before she came to Carroll, she had 10 years of uh, coaching experience in volleyball. Most recently, she coached volleyball at Manchester Valley High School. And uh, she has worked with uh, the North Carroll Recreation Council, um, and was in, was uh, a big part of getting volleyball started at Carroll Community College. They are a relatively new program. <coughs> Head coach for Potomac State is Martha Gano. Uh, coach Gano is uh, in her 13th season at Potomac State, and she has a career record of 248 wins and 88 defeats. So uh, she's been there a long, long time. Yeah, that's an incredible uh, an amount of wins, 248. Oh. No stop in the action, not sure why. And we're back underway. Carroll now on top, 3-1. Excellent serve there. Nice dig. Wow, another great dig. Comes the set. Oh. And that kill was by... Uh, Carly Badorf, number 14, who we see right there. Carly is uh, pretty much leads the team in almost every category. Uh, she's very much of an all-around player. She leads in kills and she leads in digs. And that's a combination that you don't see all that often. Now we've got the score reversed. And uh, apparently that was what the holdup was. Uh, Potomac State is now on top, 4-2. Well, now it's 3-3. I am confused. Yeah. And Potomac State takes the lead. Now that was a Potomac State point. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Potomac State is in the lead. Four to three. And we're all tied at four. We're a little confused because the scoreboard in the facility mm -hmm. here in uh, in the gym at uh, Montgomery College, you can't change the names on the, so it says Raptors guest. And uh, of course, when the Raptors are here, there's no confusion. Yeah. But uh, because it's two teams, neither of which are the Raptors, uh, there's a little confusion over, well, who's, on the scoreboard as the Raptors, and who's on the scoreboard as the guest? So, we'll get this figured out here. Meanwhile, point for Potomac State. And 
That's long, another point for Potomac State. Yeah, for a, uh, a new program um, for Carroll, they've been looking pretty good to start this, uh, start this match, so. They look very athletic. Mm -hmm. Another point for them. And of course, you know, as, uh, as if. So Carroll serving. And there's a point for the Catamounts. Caitlin Havener will serve for the Catamounts. We're early in the first set. Potomac State was leading by two. Nice dig. Set. Fennell. Wow. The Raptors didn't have much of an answer for Fennell, and right now I would say the same is true for Carroll. Yeah. I mean, one of the most, you know, powerful. Uh, Very uh, dynamic. Yeah, one of the most powerful spikes in this building, I would say. This is uh, Haley Rousey Rosbach at the uh, service line. I'm sorry, Hadley. Hadley. Rousey Rosbach. Point for Potomac State. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Carol. Now I'm confusing everybody. <laughs> Eight seven. Excellent point there for Potomac State. Good look there at Carly Badorf for Carroll. Cameron Feeham with the serve. And a nice kill for Maria Acheron. Came into this one second on the team in kills. Oh, the dink. Canal. Ooh. Oh, boy, she found the spot with that one. A little deflection there kind of threw everyone off, but good shot. It may not have been pretty, but it sure was effective. Ooh. Bad orf. Nice dig. Oh. Point to Carroll. Close match. 10-9. And Peyton Zepp will be serving now for Carroll. Nice little dink. Bad orf. And she gets the point. Carly Badorf. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was interesting. The yeah. ball just, just uh, 
traveled down the top of the net for about five, six feet there. Didn't want to go over. Had a lot of spin on it. Comes the set for Bad Orf. And she found the open spot. So Carroll with a two point lead now. And the jerseys are a little confusing. Carol with the lighter blue. And uh, Potomac State with like a midnight blue. It's a great way to explain it. Midnight blue. Nice block by Lauren Garaglia. Oh, great effort there by Fennell. Couldn't come up with it. Very impressed with her. Zepp still on the service line. Yeah, she's been delivering some great serves. Another ace. And that was a miscommunication there that cost him a point. So, timeout. All of a sudden, Carroll up by five. We get a good look there at head coach Terry Leatherwood. Again, she is uh, largely instrumental uh, for the start of the uh, the uh, volleyball program at Carroll. Good look there at uh, Martha Gano, longtime head coach at Potomac State. The second of our two matches, in case uh, you're just joining us, uh, Montgomery College won the first match over Potomac uh, State, three sets to one. Uh, every set was close and hard fought. Came, really, all four sets came down to the end. They did. They did. No runaways. No, that was a very evenly matched game. Um, high intensity. Carroll now up six. As Zepp is uh, living on that service line. Good block. Excellent wow. block. Excellent by, by uh, Lauren Cariglia. She averages over a block a set, so <clears throat> no surprise. Bad Orf. Good dink for the point. Right over the net, right over the defenders. Jillian Britton with the serve. Oh wow, it's a little like spin hit. That was pretty interesting. Good shot. Bad arc. Carroll in control right now. Badorf. Boy, she's got a, a great jump serve. Double hit by Potomac State. Gives the point to uh, the Lynx.
point to Potomac State. They needed that. Carroll was on quite a roll there. Hit the rafters. That, that's a tough one when it hits the rafters. Yeah, you never know where it's going to go. You never, you're right, exactly. You have no idea what kind of angle it's going to, that one just came straight down. Yeah. Sometimes they'll come down at an angle. Oof. Good serve. Number 10, Madison Mathis. Point for Potomac State. They're trying to, well, they're right back in it, 19-16. Yeah, I think I'm, it's a pretty good timeout call by the coach. Yeah, I think so too. I think uh, the timeout was taken by Carroll, and it was uh, a good time to do that as uh, Potomac State was getting on a run. And uh, the lead has been cut in half. Again, this is a five-set match. Best out of five wins it. So whoever gets to three sets first, of course, is the winner. If we have to go to a fifth set, uh, the fifth set is a 15-point set. All the others are 25-point sets, win by two. The fifth set, if necessary, is 15 points, win by two. I really thought that's where we were going in the first match between uh, the Raptors and Potomac State. Yeah, it was close the whole entire time throughout the whole match. That was a good serve by Mathis. Ah, great block. Great block by uh, Lauren. Gariglia. Good look at Lauren. Adrian Dale on the service line now for Potomac State. Oh, that was a, an effective serve. Picks up a quick point, and the lead is just two. Ooh. From Spinell. Wow. <laughs> That is as close to a sure thing as we've seen all day. Oh, yeah. It was hit so hard, I didn't even see it hit the ground. I just heard it. Kind of explodes off her hand. Yeah. She gets that momentum behind it with a little bit of a, a run up or a swoop and uh, really puts some power behind that thing. We're knotted up at 2020. First set. Bad or Abigail Morley is now serving. 21-20. Carroll. For now, once again. again. She is really on target. Yeah, that's one thing about her shots is that they're powerful, but she has a lot of accuracy with them as well, right? 
We saw her go wide a couple of times in the first match, but by and large, her accuracy is exceptional. That time she took a took a lot off of it, gave him the knuckleball, and uh, got the point, and puts uh, Potomac State ahead for the first time since early in the set. So Havener is going to try to take it home for the Catamounts. Oh, they stave it off. Tied up. Tied up at 22. I would love to identify number 22, but she is not on my roster. I'm guessing it's Madeline Maggio, based on the fact that she's playing libero. Or, or possibly Sophia DiMaggio. Now I see number one over on the sidelines. So that is, no, wait a minute. Yeah, maybe number four. There's no number four on the bench, so on the sideline. So it's, <laughs> again, we're, we'll need to get this, uh, maybe we can get this clarified in between sets. Look at uh, the Carroll huddle. They they are quite loose. They're having fun. They are. I love it. That's what it's all about, you know. Yeah, I love it. As much as that, it's about the competitive, you know, nature of the game. If they're not having fun, what's the point? What's the point? Exactly. They are clearly having a good time. The joy of uh, athletic competition. <clears throat> one great thing about sports now that I don't really play anymore is I remember all the times just being with my teammates you know yep. and being with the teammates and all those times you're doing a lot of cardio running and you know training and you all do it together and I think that's kind of the best thing about you know organized team sports so we are at ma uh, set point here for Carol as Stacy Cutzler serves it. So now, great block. And point Potomac State as the ball went out. 24-23, can't get much tighter than this. As Feehan will serve. Badorf swooping in. Ooh. We are tied up at 24. As the block was there. And Carroll could not respond to the block. So we will actually go over 25 in order to get to a two point winner. So 25 24, Carroll. And this is, again, is set point. And Acheron with the uh, serve. Finnell pops it over. And there it is. As Kutzler puts it away. And Carroll takes the first set. 26-24. What a set that was. That was quite a set. And uh, we do want to try to get this uh, uniform number situation uh, cleared up uh, between periods here. We're going to keep it right here. 
as um, we get a good look at uh, the Potomac State bench. I know one thing's for sure, Potomac State does not want to go home today empty-handed. Oh, no. No, not at all. I'm pretty sure no one wants to uh, go home without winning every game they play today, but uh, definitely not empty-handed. And Potomac State does have a further drive than Carroll as well, so. Yeah, it, it wouldn't be a happy ride home. No, no, no. Yeah. So that was a, an excellent, very evenly played first set between uh, two excellent teams. Uh, the front line play, I think, of um, Carroll uh, really got him that win. Yeah. I think, I think it starts there, you know. Starts in the front with the blocks, the dinks, the spikes. Um, if you can set the tone from there, it really helps – Energize the team, helps with the defense as well. And that's what they really did well in that first set. Good look at the Potomac State bench. In case you joined us late, this is the second of our three matches today. The Raptors hosting a tri-match. In the first match of the day, uh, Montgomery College took that one three sets to one over Potomac State. And we uh, are just underway here in the second set. Carroll took the first one, 26-24. And then as a reminder, coming up 30 minutes after the conclusion of this match, the Raptors will play their second match of the day, and they will play Carroll. I don't know whether you, as a team, I guess you want that little bit of a time off between games. Yeah. I, I think so. I mean, it also helps because then you can watch your opponent play. And, right. You know, you can, like, pick up little things here and there from, like, oh, they like to do this or maybe they're a little bit weaker in this area. And um, as I as I look, you know, not to interrupt, but to interrupt, as I look in the stands, I see the Raptors coaches are up there. Oh, yeah, scouting, looking. The players are not there. They don't need to be there. They don't need that kind of distraction. They're resting. Yeah. But the the coaches are up there, and they're intently watching what happens out here. Exactly. A lot of things they can take away and then tell their team, like, hey, you know, make sure to do a lot more back sets or make sure to do this, do that. So. And my guess, it's quite possible this is the first time the MC coaches have seen Carroll. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, they have not played this year unless they saw him in another tri-match or – or uh, did some advanced scouting. Which, when you're playing this many games, that's a little tough to do. Yeah. You don't have unlimited staff, that's for sure. Yeah, and they're busy training on the road. And yeah. All right, so a quick 1-0 lead for, or 2-0 lead for the Catamounts. Good look at uh, their front line. Caitlin Havener, number six. Number eight is uh, Kira Davis. And there's Badar. I'm impressed with her. Yeah. She is a uh, great player. Excellent player and uh, very dynamic. Do a lot of things well out there. A little dink. Nice set. Mm. Grace Bowman just couldn't get that one over. Good effort, but came up a little short. So Madison Mathis, who is excellent from the service line,
Good reflexes to keep that going. Ooh. Point for Carroll. Communication mishap for Potomac State right there. Based on that first set, I wouldn't be surprised to see this one go four sets for sure. Yeah, I mean. Very evenly matched. Mm -hmm. And five wouldn't shock me. No, not at all. I do wonder if fatigue will eventually set in. For, for Potomac State. Yeah. yeah. It's possible. But. I mean, they're young and they're uh, obviously well conditioned. But it's also a lot of pounding out there. Yeah, there's all the jumping and the diving. This is Abigail Morley on the service line. Oh, nicely placed by Maria Akarad. Well, she's second on the team in uh, kills. And second on the team in blocks. Oof. Fennell. Ties it at five. Stacy Kutzler serving. Ooh, Fennell. Wow. <laughs> we have seen a lot of that today. She is something. Great athlete. Good block. Way to keep it going. Bad or Double hit. Violation. Potomac State's ball. Behan. Acheron has a lot of power as well. And very quick with the with the kill. The long arms, and that one's out. So we just got it clarified. Number 22 is Sophia DiMaggio. We had her on the roster as number four, but obviously there has been a, uh, a number change, uniform number change. Good look at Terry Leatherwood, the head coach for Carroll. Zepp comes up with a service error. Countermounts up by one. And 
That puts Britton back on the line. Wow, bad or powerful spike. She is something from the wing. But she comes in from the outside. She's got long arms, she's tall, and a lot of power. Petzler, nice dig. Wow, look at this rally. This is one of the better ones of the day. Ooh, oh, very out. smart hit there by Kutzler. To give Pist uh, Potomac State, I mean, I'm sorry, Carroll the point. Oh, it went out. Yeah, went it out. They called it out. out. Yeah. So Potomac, uh, Potomac State up by one. Carroll took the first set. And just tied her right back up. So Sophia DiMaggio. Wow, good dig. Wow, what a what a sacrifice by Bador. Wow. That was He's a doing tough everything. Point. Yeah, all around player. Great defensively, great offensively. Well, she has the unusual combination of leading the team in digs and kills. Out. That was close. Very close. The official is right there. Morley on the service line for Carroll. missed the mark that time. She's uh, indicating she didn't get, she didn't hit it where she wanted to hit it. On that like sweet spot area. Yeah. More came off her wrist rather than her hand. Great block. Acheron with the block. Carroll won the first set and leading here in the second, 14-12. Ooh, dink. Good dig. And 
minutes long. So this one is nip and tuck all the way. Biggest lead so far has been three in this set. First set was equally close. Yeah, there hasn't really been any, you know, runs of four, five in a row for either team. No, they're basically trading points. Which probably drives the coaches crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow, great dig. Pinnell. Point to uh, the Catamounts. They earned that one. Oh, whoa. Wow. Bad or Man. Jillian Britton checking to make sure that ball didn't break anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that thing had some mustard behind it. Ace, bad or. Oh, no, that's not. Akron. Akron, excuse Akron. me. Akron. What a serve. Jeez. Wow. So much heat on that. Carroll up by two. Oh. Great nice shot. Nice job, Badorf. Now here's a run. This is the first legitimate run we've had today. And as a result, the biggest lead by either team in this set. Wow. What a dig. Oh, nice. Wow. That's a great point. Ooh. Oh, Pinnell crossed him up and went with the left hand. Yep. Sometimes I'm like, man, points like that should be worth two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a great point. Both teams playing really well. Really won it. Oh, nice uh, put away there. Hadley Rousey Rosbach with the put away, and now she moves to the service line. Wow. This can go either way, and you definitely know that, I mean, both teams want it, but Carroll maybe wanted it a little bit more as they can go up 2-0. Yeah, that would be, uh, that would be a tough 
hill for uh, Potomac State to uh, climb if they fell behind two sets to none. They really want to avoid that, if at all possible. And right now they're on top 2019 as they've come back. Carroll had a, uh, a four-point edge, but it's gone. Good look at the Potomac State bench. Their head coach, Martha Gano. And there's her counterpart, Terry Leatherwood. State will have the serve. Jillian Britton. Wow, great dig. What a dig by DiMaggio. Oh, went for that again. Couldn't come up with it that time. Potomac State up by two now. Love nothing better than to take this set and tie things up at one set apiece. And that's out. And here's Badorf. Mm. Good effort but came up short. And another point for Potomac State. They are on the verge here. Block. And that's going to be a point for Carroll. Carroll is, would like nothing better than to go up two sets to one, or two sets to none. DiMaggio with the serve. Ooh, boy, that's a bad time for that one. Yeah. That puts Potomac State up two. And Dale with the serve. Fennell. Oh, nice save. Oh. oh, into the net. So this could be set point here for Potomac State. Oh, that is. That is. That's yep, the match. That is. 25 21. So Potomac State takes the second to tie things up at one set apiece. So. After two sets, we are all tied up, one apiece. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back with the third set after this.
Yeah, we got that. Got yeah. Welcome back. We are uh, all set for the start of the third set. And we are knotted at one apiece. Carroll took the first set, 26-24. Potomac State bounces back to take the second set, 25-21. So as in our first match between the Raptors, Montgomery College, and Potomac State, that this is the all-important third set. When it's tied 1-1, you really want to get this third because you do not want to have to win two sets in a row to take the match. Yeah, it's definitely not easy to do that. Yeah, particularly coming from behind. So this will be, my guess is this is going to be a uh, another tight set as they Neither team is led by more than four points in any at any one time today. Mm -hmm. um, two really evenly matched teams with great hitters and uh, some really uh, amazing uh, digs, and it's just been a lot of fun to watch. So we're just. A not sure what the holdup is at the moment. We are waiting to get underway. All right. Apparently there was an issue with the, uh, the scores table. It's been resolved. Now will do the serving. We're underway in the third set. Wow. Lots of arms and legs got tan tangled up under there, but the point goes to Potomac State. State again with the point. Point there for Potomac State. So Potomac. 
Atlantic State with a 3-0 lead here as Fennell goes back to the uh, service line. She's had a good day from back there. She's had a good day overall. Good Great. save. Wow, DiMaggio really gave herself up. Wow. Oh, what a save, potentially. Oh. Oh. Good effort by Potomac State. Yeah, it was a well-earned point. Um, by Carroll. DiMaggio was all over the place for that last point. She, I, I love her energy out there. She mm -hmm. is, she's a fun player to watch. She's really super psyched. Oh, wow. That could have been real bad. A good save. Good block. Wow. What a block. Bad Orf. Gariglia was there with her as well. This is Madeline Maggio, not to be confused with Sophia DiMaggio. Madeline Maggio, number one. And just like that, the game is back to being tied up. No surprise. Nope, not at all. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Potomac State, that was acrobatic. Wow. What a point. Oh, this one's worth three. Come on. This point is worth the price oh, of admission. Yeah. Wow. E. Oh, my. Definitely the point of the day. Oh, and wow. Finally. An error puts a, gives the point to Carroll. Wow, even I have to clap for that one. That was very impressive by both teams. A lot of effort out there. The, the intensity is, is something. But it's intensity with a smile, which is. Oh, yeah. It's so much fun to watch. Double hit there uh, by Potomac State. Yeah, but the. The smiling and the, the laughing, the hand clapping, the benches all cheering. That's the one thing about volleyball that's just, it's awesome is that the energy is always there. The spirit. Yep. After every point as well, they, you know, huddle up. Yep. They say, good job. They say, okay, next time. They might call an offense. They might call a defense. Ooh. Oh, just put it right through her hands. Yeah. Again, this is as close as it can get, and that's what we've had all afternoon. Oh, and that's Ooh, in. Yeah, I was about to say that looked in to me. If it hits any part of the line, it is in. And uh, the line judge right there. Got a great view of it. Oh, it just crawled over the net. Those are tough. Mm-hmm. You never know what the net wants to do, you know? It has nope. a mind of its own. Yep. There you go. Wow. Oh, Raptor. There have been some very entertaining points in this set so far. We're 
All tied up at seven. DiMaggio will serve. Sophia DiMaggio. Freshman libero. Good save, wow. Mm. Long point, Carroll. Good look at uh, Sophia DiMaggio. What I, uh, another thing I really like about her game is she is a really communicating out there. She is, she's a leader. She's a leader, and she's only a freshman too, which means if she's playing like this, leading like this, definitely looking like a captain uh, uh, potential oh, yeah. for the next, you know, for her sophomore year. Absolutely. If she's already not one. The smile never leaves her face. Never. I mean, she obviously loves playing volleyball. Raffer ball, point Carroll. Ooh, good dig. Three-point match, two-point match. Another close set. Very similar to the previous two. serve. Nice dig there by Bador. Ooh. Looked like he was going out. Yeah, and as soon as um, Jillian Britton sat up from diving, she said, I shouldn't have hit it. Mm-hmm. That was kind of a gimme point to uh, to Carroll. One point match again. There's not a lot of breathing room between these two teams. They are very, very closely. They're just two even teams. Yeah, nothing really separates them. I mean, great serving, great defense, great offense. Both of them have several powerful hitters. Mm -hmm. And even with Carroll being, you know, a lot taller uh, of a roster than um, Potomac State, they've done their share of blocks and, you know, great spikes. Oh, yeah. Right on cue, yeah? Yep, right <laughs> on cue. And, of course, who is it? Fennell. Yep. We've been impressed with her all day long. I would think she's uh, going to be rather tired after two matches. <laughs> yeah. Because she really has not – come off the court. That's a good point. Very good point. She hasn't subbed at all. And whereas there have been, and I, I'd say the same with uh, with Carly Bador for uh, 
for Carroll. I don't believe she's been off the court today. Of course, this is the second match for uh, for Potomac State. Wow. And Pinnell is still blistering that back line with yeah. her kills. So you, it's like I, I still, every time she, you know, she spikes it, I'm still like, wow. It's like, yeah, and it's amazing every time. I would think after a day like this, Ooh. two matches, all that many wind-ups and kills, the shoulders got to be a little sore. It has to be. I would think. My shoulders are just sore when I <laughs> go to sleep and wake up in the morning. So <laughs> but maybe it's because I'm getting older. I don't know. Oh yeah, you're 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 ancient. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Folks, I'm sitting next to a guy who I am uh, more than twice as old <laughs> as. <laughs> see, you know, to me, it's like I don't see that I am that old, but and I go and I speak to some of, for instance, the other athletes, and they say, "Oh, you're thirty. Oh, you're so old." I'm like, but "Am I?" 30? <laughs> 30 is just a young pup, believe me. <laughs> You're just getting started. Say that's in my right knee. <laughs> True. Soccer took a toll, but. Yeah, for those of you uh, who are not familiar with Andre, Andre was uh, a star soccer player here. Back in 2013, one of the co-captains of the Raptors team that went to the national championship tournament under head coach Pedro Braz. And uh, we are very fortunate that he found his way to Montgomery College Television. And he's been my partner, well, yesterday and today. And just the other day, we did some soccer together. Yeah, it's tournament. We did the uh, Tom Bickey tournament a couple of weeks ago together. And uh, so Andre is uh, Andre's been doing a great job, and it's been a real pleasure working with him. Yeah, well, for me, you know, I'm, I'm working with a living legend, so <laughs> this is awesome. Well, I'm old enough to be a legend. <laughs> That's for sure. So, <laughs> I'm older than most tall tales, you know. So, uh, and we've got more coming up. We've got uh, this coming Tuesday. Yep. You and I will be right back here in this uh, very spot calling the Raptors game against Chesapeake. And that, again, will be on Montgomery College Television. Um, and YouTube, and tell them about the social media, all the social media outlets that we have. Yeah, so if you um, want to check out a lot of things that are done by MCTV, um, which is a lot of things for the student life and, and videos uh, that showcase what the students are doing and different programs of the school and a lot of athletics, um, at MCTV Social is where we post a lot of our social media uh, content, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Oh, excuse me, actually. I should say X now because it's oh, X. Oh, yes, it's I, X. I apologize. You don't want to be sued. Yeah, but, you know. You know, so, he, has a, he has a very thin skin. Yeah, exactly. So, And he might be tuning in. You never know. So let me say X. Um, but, yes, uh, Instagram, X, Facebook, at MCTV Social is where you will see a lot of the content, student content, uh, faculty and staff content, um, athletic content created by our amazing producers. Uh, they're outstanding. Their work is incredible. I thought I was good until I saw what the team does, and I'm like, well. Now, the, the MCTV production team, it, it just keeps upping the ante. They just keep raising the bar. Uh, it, it, it's just an amazing group of talented talented people and everybody brings a little bit of their own expertise to it and it, it's just a great team with some great leaders what a point 
Meanwhile, we are all tied up in set number three at 18-18. Well, and the other thing that uh, folks can do is go to the Raptors uh, YouTube channel. Yes, and, and check out all the games live. Exactly. And all the games live. And, and then an archive of just tons of past games and highlights and promos and um, so yeah it's a, it's a great resource so we've got a timeout on the floor with catamounts desperately need this one they would well both teams need this one this is uh you know we're one one and uh, whoever wins this one will definitely have a leg up on uh, winning the, uh, the match. And can I say for the, uh, the Tuesday versus the Chesapeake Skipjacks. The Skipjacks. I'm, I'm a fan of that Skipjack thing. It's a, it's a type of shi uh, ship, boat. Okay. Uh, I believe it's referred to as a boat. Not a ship because it's smaller. But then again, my uh, mariner uh, experience is, <laughs> is, is like limited to a, a ferry. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, a Staten I, Island ferry or, you know. <laughs> I've been in a uh, canoe once. <laughs> oh, I did take a, uh, a uh, canoe trip down a uh, very, very dangerous river a few years ago. Well, how did that uh, end up going? Oh, my goodness. I don't think I would ever do it again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> well, I have a brother who is uh, extremely adventurous, and uh, he said, we're going to put in right here at the, uh, it's the Little Miami River in Ohio. Well, it had rained for like five straight days before we put in. Oh, man. The, ra the river was raging, and I mean raging. And I'd never been in a canoe in my life. And uh, we get in the water, and we capsized in, <laughs> in less than 10 minutes. Oh, man. <laughs> and we watched a whole lot of provisions just float away from us. Oh, man. And this, this was going to be a, 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 a three-night trip. Oh, wow, so, like, all your, like, food and, like. A lot of our food and some of our uh, recreational beverages, ah, uh, shall we say. The... Uh, you know, they're swimming with the fishes. <laughs> you know. Oh, man. Well. That was, uh, that was crazy. <laughs> it's what it was. Wow. Well, we made it though. We that's, survived. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I will. Uh, I did it once, never again. Oh, we capsized uh, three or four times the first day. Oh my! Yeah, it was crazy. Trees were down across the river. I mean, it was just. Oh man! Oh yeah, it was nuts. All right, let's get back to uh, some volleyball after a little <laughs> detour down the Little Miami River in Ohio. So, all important set three here. That's a big point for Carroll. Tie it up. 21 apiece. Yeah, in the last two games we've announced, I mean, this game is a literally back-to-back -back points. One team scores, one team scores, the other team scores. There's what? no separation. No. That was a great serve there by Cutzler, Stacy Cutzler. Boy, she put it right in the back corner. Wow. That time she's a little long. But Carroll with the lead, holding on to a, the slimmest of margins here. So, Potomac State needs a good run here by Feehan. Good block. Oh, went out. Oh, went out. So that'll be a point for Potomac State. 23-22.
Time yeah. out. Time out on the floor. So Potomac State and Carroll really going at it. And uh, of course, whoever takes this set will have a, a huge advantage. Uh, holding that 2-1 lead is sure a heck of a lot better than being down two sets to one. Oh yeah, definitely. Because if you're down two sets to one, you got to win two. You got to win back-to-back -back sets to take the match. Yeah, and that is not easy at all. Well, not particularly as as evenly matched as these two teams are. Um, now, if you were gonna, you know, jump into volleyball and, and be a volleyball player, what position would you want to play? Do you know? Me? Hmm. I can't imagine doing it. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Let's just say, you know, you're like, okay, oh, well. so take me back 50 years. Yeah. Uh, maybe, oh, I'd want to be swooping in there, just, killing the ball. Oh, yeah. One of the outside hitters or something. Wow. Of course, I was vertically challenged as an athlete. <laughs> I, um, I, let's put it this way. My leaping ability was minimal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a big uh, libero fan, like running around and swooping in there, setting up for the team. Oh, I can see you diving on the floor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is uh, – Oh, wow. Set point for Potomac State. Oh, the dink. Potomac State. And oh, Pinnell, that's in. It's in, that's and in. Potomac State takes it. So that's two sets in a row now for Potomac State. And uh, so they lead the match to two sets to one. And we're going to keep it right here uh, in between sets. Uh, so Potomac State now up two sets to one. And boy, has this been a close match. Carroll won the first set, 26-24. Potomac State came back, take the second, 25-21. And then they just took the third, 25-22. So uh, two very evenly matched teams, as the score indicates. Yeah, not much separating them at all. I mean, it's like, what, less than Four, two, yeah, less than 10 points. Separates the team between three sets. So we expect more of the same in the fourth set. And of course, this could be, uh, this could be match set for Potomac State. And keep in mind that 30 minutes after the conclusion of this match, we'll be back with our final match of the day as as Carroll will take on the Raptors. Uh, the Montgomery College Raptors, the home team, in the third and final match of our tri-match day here at Montgomery College. Good look at Terry Leatherwood and her Carroll County Lynx. got the Lynx and the Catamounts. Two cats. Oh, we got a Raptor Ooh. waiting in the wings. Lynx. I need to go and look up what a Lynx really looks like. I, mean, uh, I need to check that out. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I don't really know. Never having seen a Lynx face to face, which I really don't want. Yeah, it's probably I, I, a good I thing. I, I don't think it's a real good yeah, idea. Yeah, I think it's a good thing. Probably the same with a catamount. Yeah, that even sounds even maybe worse. Well, I'm looking at the logos. Yeah, um, they both sharp have teeth. sharp teeth. It's not good. The, the catamount looks a little hungrier, though, <laughs> than the logo. Yeah. Does he? Yeah, it does. He's it, like, where's my food? They're ready. He's ready. I gotta be honest, I'm not sure I ever heard of a catamount until I came to Montgomery College and we started playing Potomac State. The same. 
I wonder if they're native to West Virginia. I would imagine. I would imagine. And maybe a Lynx is native to Maryland. Must be. Maybe. Maybe. I, as a, you know, a Maryland resident, I hope not. Well, I'm sure where you and I live, there's not a lot of links around. Although one never knows because, you know, part of the reason that we see so many deer now and other types of uh, fauna mm-hmm. running around our yards is because, you know, housing developments out in the, in the boonies, well, what used to be the boonies have taken away all the natural habitat That's for, true. for a lot of the, uh, the wildlife. There was a bear a couple months ago. Oh, yeah. That, that's a fairly common thing now. And th- those bears, when they want something, they take it. So we're underway here in the fourth. Wow, what a shot. Excellent placement. So a quick 1-0 lead for Potomac State. Oh, and here's Fennell with the uh, the serve. Boy, she is one of the most impressive players we've seen today. Three nothing Potomac State. They jump out to a quick lead in what could be match set. If Potomac State should win this set, that will be the match. Carroll really needs to. uh, Or, oh. Well, they obviously have to win this set in order to stay in the match. But Potomac State is off to a great start. There they go. Finally get on the board right there. And sure enough, it's Badorf. Very impressive player. Big hit. At Hinkle. Hinkle uh, has had uh, a, a solid day for Potomac State. And they can't get that one back over. This is the best start that either team has had in a set. This may be the biggest lead of, of the uh, day for either team. Ooh. And they promptly make a service error. So that'll put DiMaggio on the service line for Carroll. Oh, that's in. Wow, what a shot. Perfect shot. Beautiful shot, shot yeah. by uh, Kira Davis. She's played very well today for uh, Potomac State. Ooh, great save. Wow, Fennell with a dig that amazing. Good block. Kunstler, another set. Oh, good try, good try. Good effort by Dale. I'm sorry, Feehan. Use the each team has been blocking though very well. All right, this is Grace Bowman on the uh, service line for Carroll. Oh, Ooh, a little miscommunication there. Who's going to get it? And as a result, it's a point for Carroll. Wow, oh, 
Wow, what a dig. Good setup. Catamounts lead two to one. And should they win this set, they will win the match. And they will go home on the day with a record of one and one as they lost the first match of the day to Montgomery College, three sets to one. In that one, Potomac State took the first set and then the Raptors came back to take the next three and the match. So, Stacy Cutzler on the uh, service line for Carroll. Good dig. Right. And well, we knew that was coming. Fennell just buried it. I don't think you wanted to get in the way of that one. Oh, no. Oh, definitely not. Definitely. It would break my wrist if I tried oh, to stop it. Oh, it had some MPH coming behind it. Got to put Acheron on the uh, service line. She's had some big moments today. Wow. Acheron got a hand on it, but that's about all she could do. Here comes DiMaggio. A little bundle of energy is what she is. Yeah. Jeez. Point to Potomac State. That was right on the line. Just kissed it. Starting to take over here. And just when you say that, Carroll picks up a point, stops the run, and goes back to the service line. I do see the Raptors team over there now. Most of them are in the crowd uh, watching the game a little bit along with their coaches. So they'll be coming up one half hour after the conclusion of this, ma of this match. The Raptors will take on Carroll in the third and final match of our day here at Montgomery College. Devoted to Volleyball, NJCAA Volleyball. Another point for Potomac State. They now have a six point margin. That's, that's the biggest lead by either team today. Oh yeah. There's Fennell. He, she's my player of this game. She is, she's done just about everything on top of not coming out at all. Exactly. Frankly, it's between her and, and Carly Bador for uh, Carroll, two most outstanding players out there right now. So we've got a timeout on the floor. We're gonna keep it right here. As we look at the uh, Carroll bench, the Carroll Link, recent uh, entrant to uh, uh, Maryland Juco. Of course, Potomac State, because they're in West Virginia, obviously are not in uh, Maryland Juco, but they are in Region 20. And Region 20 is the, is the Montgomery College uh, region, uh, all the other uh, Maryland Juco teams are in Region 20. So uh, when it comes time to the Region 20 tournament, which is the, the first step
towards an appearance in the national championships, uh, you, Potomac State is in that mix. And uh, I have no doubt they'll be in there again this year. Should be a very interesting Region 20 this year. Yeah. A lot of good teams. Hagerstown it looks very, very strong. Uh, they will be – they're always a – a major rival of the of the Raptors when it comes to Maryland Juco. Hagerstown perennially has an excellent volleyball program. And there's another point for Potomac State. Starting to run away with it here. Yeah, they're, they're giving themselves a little breathing room as Fennell is doing uh, good work back there on the uh, service line. And that's in. Oh, my goodness. That was impossible. Yeah. I love the energy of the, the, the side line judge over there. Oh, yeah. She makes it. There's no question what her call is. Oh, yeah. She lets you know. Yep. I appreciate that. As an announcer, we would like to know those things. <laughs> we don't want there to be a, any guessing game going on. Oh, good effort there by Morley. Amazing. Wow. Just amazing. Double hit. I'll tell you, that was some point. But meanwhile, Potomac State now has uh, extended their lead to 10. They're starting to feel it a little bit, I think. They're playing with a lot of confidence. And another point for Potomac State. Yeah. This is biggest lead by a long shot. Previous to this, the biggest lead was three points by either team. Uh, Potomac State kind of wearing down, perhaps. Too early to say. But it appears they might be wearing uh, Carroll down just a little bit. Meanwhile, Carroll's got another one coming. They'll play uh, oh. the Raptors. So 18-7, Potomac State. They lead it two sets to one. So this could very well be match set. Nineteen seven. Another big point. Kira Davis. She's been uh, a big factor all afternoon for uh, Potomac State. Oh, and she finds a finds that dead spot in the defense. 27. So Potomac State looks like they're just going to walk away with this set. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Havener. Oh. oh. Havener really put that one away. <laughs> That was a power bomb. 21-7. Carroll stops trying to stop the bleeding here. As Potomac State is just running away with this uh, this set so far. Happier looking uh, Potomac State huddle than uh, than Carroll yeah. at the moment. I, 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 would, I would rather be in Potomac State's huddle. <laughs> I'm sure you. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, it's one of those things where you have a lead like this, you need to finish it out. That's right. You can't have Carroll start to sneak back into it because if that's the case, they're going to start feeling a lot of pressure at Potomac State. 
Yeah, this is when, when you have them down, as you well know, Andre, from having competed uh, at the highest levels, when you got a team down, you, you, you want to keep them there and you oh, want to yeah. finish the job. Yep. No messing around. No, not at all. Don't give them any hope. Just get the job done. And then on to the next one. Mm, there's another point. Kira Davis has really played well today, and she's kind of taken over here in the last four or five minutes. Takes some of the load off Fennell. Oh, that was an excellent serve. Yeah, perfect ace. What an ace. So 23-7 now. And we are just about finished here. Davis again. Good block by Carroll. Wow. Oh. There they go. There they so, go. So Gariglia with the block to keep a minute, give him some life, and that'll put uh, DiMaggio on the service line. She has a very interesting serving style. And it goes out, so that's another point for Carroll. She sort of takes, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but it looks to me like she takes a little extra step on her serve. And a, a, a little hop, that, a yeah, hop step. Yeah, a little hop step. I wonder if that throws uh, the other team off a little bit. Possibly. It's effective, that's for sure. <coughs> Whoa. I just saved my partner from a black eye. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm still quick. <laughs> You're not as ancient as you say. <laughs> of course, now I'm going to have to go on the DL. <laughs> But we're right here in the line of fire. Got a little conversation going on between the up uh, official and the down official. Uh -oh. We might pull out the instant replay. 24-9. So this is, wait a minute, they, I'm not sure. Okay, they, they took away, they awarded the point to Carroll. They had given it to Potomac State, and now they've taken it back. So Carroll's still in it. 23-10, DiMaggio on the uh, serve line. Wow, what a dig there by Havener. Good point. Oh, here comes Havener. Nope. Oh, and that's a point for Potomac State. So this is uh, this is set and match point right here. Get it over, they do. Comes the set up. Oh. oh, that was tricky. But Carol was ready for it. There it and is. there it is. So Potomac State takes it 25-10. And they take the match three sets to one as uh, Kira Davis, appropriately enough, 
uh, put away the uh, the game winner there with uh, with her final kill of the afternoon. She had a great great day along with uh, her uh, partner on the other side of the court, Fennell. So, so Potomac State comes into Montgomery College. They lose their first match of the of the day to the uh, host Raptors, three sets to one. But they bounce back in their second uh, match of the day to to uh, knock off Carroll three sets to one. So Potomac State will go home one and one on the day. And uh, coming up in just about 30 minutes, we've got uh, the final match of our uh, tri-match afternoon here at Montgomery College. Uh, join us in about 30 minutes when the Montgomery College Raptors will take on the Carroll Lynx. And uh, we're looking forward to that one. We'll see you in just a few minutes uh, so please stick with us right here on MCTV. We got it, we got it. 